while Gothic Sleeps was just recently released, I had two items that I would like to get, the range and the melee weapons to test out. I managed to buy the items in the Grand Exchange for a hefty price of release. Now the Scorching Bow was the first item I wanted to test out. Now I did have a Slayer task at Cerberus that is, and I did change my helmet to a Slayer Helm and that was something I didn't do here. Now I'm not completely maxed range, but I'm pretty close. I was very excited to see what this weapon can do here. Now at the start of the battle, I ran in there as fast as I could to see what we can do here. I did die in a recent video. You can see that's why my items were on the floor because I was not prepared. I'm a little bit slow when it comes to the Cerberus. It's been a minute since I've been here because I am already 99 Slayer, but I just recently got this task and I saved it for this specific video to test out the new items. Now the bow seemed to be all right. Uh, I do have a twisted bow, but it's being lent to my brother at the moment. And it was uh, pretty fast, but not as fast as a T-Bow in my own opinion. Now the amount of damage that was coming out of the bow was pretty amazing for the fact that it's a magic longbow that you do uh, combined with the Tormented Sin Pass. Sin Pass, I think I said it properly, I probably butchered it. But the maximum damage I did see was a 52, which was pretty good. Now, it was time for me to test out melee. I was pretty excited for this part because melee is always the best option in my opinion. But also range. But the buffed out sword amazed the heck out of me here because I just started getting excited to try it out here. And I just started slapping it out and... Uh, getting some decent DPS here. It was pretty crazy to see that I was slicing through Cerberus like a slice of butter. Now I knew for a fact that this would be the best thing to have in melee gear for Cerberus because a lot of people use melee here constantly unless you have a twisted bow, but this was just mind-blowingly amazing. Honestly, after recording this, I'm probably gonna finish this task and see if I can get myself some prims here but it was pretty decent and I am pretty happy to say this thing will slice the hell out of Cerberus. Now, I originally bought these items to go ahead and face the Tormented Demons to see if I can get more rares here. I don't have the claws. I haven't received any Tormented Demon drops as well. It's just random junk. As as you guys know, it's not really an amazing loot table. It's uh, kind of bare. So I just bought the items to see if I can camp here for a while. I do have over 200 kills here so far. I might make a video on that, but I'm not too sure. Now the next area I wanted to test it out was Demonic Gorillas, 100%. You know that people will come here with this item or these items that is. I have two of them and I wanted to go ahead and test it out. Now immediately I can see the difference. I was just completely killing it as fast as possible and they were changing their prayers as soon as possible because the DPS was coming out like crazy. And I can see why people would want this item specifically for this area as well. You can camp and get some Xanite shards. And I was hoping to get one in this video, but I didn't. I uh, was eager to see what the DPS would be here. And I would say it's a uh, 10 out of 10. Now the next boss I wanted to try out was Krill. I was very excited to give it a try and see what kind of damage I could do with melee here. And I was kind of disappointed with the melee situation. Plus I'm not really experienced here. I don't have that many kills in uh, this section of God Wars. I, I can get flamed for that, but it's true. I'm never really here, but I did manage to get him and I got an unlock here or two that is. This fine gentleman showed up and explained to me that I should be using the bow because it's currently broken here. He ended up showing me how to do it. He told me to switch some gears out, get light bearer and also have the bow. Now the effects here are so OP. I don't expect it to last. I'm pretty sure Jagex will fix this and change it immediately. Now, the method is to freeze him and run around and continuously putting DPS into him without having any issues. Now, I didn't believe it at first, but when I tried it, he froze and you could just run the corners. Uh, I went the opposite way where I should have gone, but that is not a problem. With the special coming back with the light bearers effect, it's, it's amazing. Like you can get 100 percent. Uh, you can get 100 percent special and literally, literally maybe in a minute or less. Uh, depending on how much you use during the boss battle. Now, I was laughing because I was like, man, this isn't so bad. This is amazing. This is going to be patched. I can guarantee you that you should, you guys should take advantage of it now before they patch it up. Like, he literally sits there and doesn't move. It's almost like having Ice Barrage, but for range. And I got him immediately and I got another unlock, which made me happy here. Now, needless to say, I'm not perfect. Uh, there is a video here where I did screw up. Uh, I got a little bit cocky in my opinion. I was excited. I was like, oh man, this is awesome. I'm going to get some good drops, probably get the pet. I don't even have a pet here, but 
needless to say, the bow is OP at Zamrock. Now, I did die in this part of the video because I got too confident in myself and eager to see what I would get as a drop, since uh, a lot of the items here are not that bad. I got carried away and you, mean, you need to make sure you hit him with the special, uh, see I didn't click him on, on time, and I ran, I panicked, and I got slapped. Now hopefully you guys like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. As always, pray for mercy is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.